Okay, well, I wanted to um, start off by saying that this is day seven of my sobriety. I have not taken a drink in seven days, um, and I feel really good about that. I'm still working on getting into rehab um, because I, I want that structure and that clean time under my belt so that I can really um, fortify this change and uh, get clean and sober once and for all. Um, I really do need help. Um, a lot of things have happened within the last 30 days. I've moved from Richmond, Virginia to Orange County uh, with my mother, who uh, happens to be my adoptive mother, and she hasn't been in my life since I was 13. But this woman has made a total transformation, and um, she's sweet, and she's supportive, and she loves me, and she has done everything in her power to make me comfortable here in her home. She's cooked me breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We've sat down at the table together every day and have a meal and talk, and we do simple things like watch Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune and go out for walks and walk her beautiful dogs. And uh, it's just been like um, a peaceful little retreat for me. Um, I was in a very stressful environment um, that had a lot of triggers and it enabled my drinking. Um, I could have made a lot of different choices and I wish I had of, but you can't live off of coulda, woulda, shouldas, basically. You have to start from where you are now. Past is the past, even if it was a week ago. It's time to do things different now. I have today. As long as I'm living and breathing, I can make a change and I can repair and recover all that has been lost and damaged and even and move forward and, and have things that I never even dreamed of or ex expected or imagined because I have the potential and I have the worth. I'm a very empathetic, compassionate woman who has a lot of insight and experience and human emotion and issues that are not talked about like mental illness, like child abuse, like adoption. Things like that. Um, it's very important to me to help people because I know I'm going through these things ultimately to help others. And I'm being strengthened by the fire that I have been through ever since I was far back as I can remember. And I want the instability to stop. I'm going to stop the cycle. I have mental health issues in my family. My birth mother is a paranoid schizophrenic. I don't know about my birth father. There's five of us, five children that my mother had right here in the state of Virginia, and we were all taken from her due to her mental illness and drug abuse. And I do not have to pass down these traits to my son. And I was listening to a sermon by Joel Osteen the other night, and he was talking about passing down the inequity to different generations. Uh, for instance, uh, Ernest Hemingway, an American writer, uh, he killed himself in, I believe, the 1960s or so, or, um, or 1980s, I'm not sure. Excuse me if, if I'm not saying it correctly. But uh, his father in the 1920s killed himself. Ernest Heming Hemingway killed himself. His, I believe his daughter killed herself and there was another family member. So it was like the suicide gene, that if someone had stopped it, if they had gotten help and, and uh, made the commitment to change, they could have stopped that, they could have deactivated that gene. My point is, is that yes, I have mental illness in my family, but that does not mean that I have to be defeated by mental illness. It does not mean I have to be defeated by drug addiction, which is basically self-medication due to the mental illness. I do not have to be beat down and defeated. I do not have to pass this along to my son. My son does not have to pass this to his kids. My sisters, if they have children, do not have to pass it down to their children. We can stop this gene. We can deactivate it. We can be strong. I'm a strong woman with a story. And I want my story out there because there are so many factors and key points that people would be like, wow, really? You had to go, th you know, you went through this and, uh, you know, I went through this too. Or I, I experienced this and felt this. And I was alone and felt like no one else had been through it. I just want to help people. And I first have to help myself because 
in that helping helping others will give me a sense of healing and closure and I just believe this is my purpose I've been through a lot of things I've done a lot of things of self-destruction destruction all the way this path and I'm I want to get off this path but I know that I went down it for a reason and it's it's time and again I feel great that I am seven days clean today I haven't had a drink of alcohol and I have no desire to drink I don't ever I really don't ever want to drink again and I know in AA, like the 12 steps, they say you can never have a drop of alcohol again. And it's hard for a person to say, oh, I'll never drink again in my whole life. Well, look at it this way. Take it day by day. I can't, because the rest of your life is a long time to commit to. You have to commit to moment by moment, hour by hour, day by day. <clears throat> and it's very, very real to me. Like, just... I'm living and breathing and feeling this this pain and you know I'm away from my son right now but that's temporary I just can never ever go through this again I want to be clean and sober once and for all I want to be stable once and for all I don't want to lose anything else I've lost way too much and I can't lose myself and I am serious like this this is it this is my time to get better so thank you for listening I'm going to continue to keep you updated whoever uh, who's out there watching I, I really wish I could get some help like I would love to be on like you know a show or something just a you know a feature Not I don't want my own morality show or anything like that no it's not that I'm looking for fame or anything at all I, I am absolutely not there I'm just looking for help I'm looking to help people and I, I just all the things I've been through because there's a lot that I'm not saying um, that's defined me but doesn't make me because I have so much potential to be so much more I just have to get through this and I have to go through it in order to get out and I understand that um, you know like you know Yana Van Zant on the own network has a show called fix my life um, you know, like Discovery Health and Fitness. Um, they have, like, uh, other shows, like, uh, you know, Addicted. Um, just something. If I could just tell my story, I just feel like it would touch people. It would help so many people. Um, golly. But, um, you know, and check me out on Facebook. You know, what I'm saying is real. Look at my updates. Look at my posts. It's from the heart. It's who I am. You know, um, my name is Michelle Ambers. I'm not afraid to give my identity. I'm not afraid of who I am as a woman. I am who I am. And I'm going to embrace all my flaws, my potential, and I want to live. I don't want to die. And on Twitter, it's L-O-V-E, the number seven, and then seven spelled out. I don't really tweet much, but, you know, there's a long history of a good two-year Twitter history that you can just see my heart. It's not about fame. It's not. It's just about a woman pouring her heart out, just who she is. I'm not a bad person, and I'm not crazy. I've done a lot of things that I'm not proud of. I've hurt a lot of people that I never wanted to hurt. I've said a lot of things that weren't right and uh, a lot of things but today is a new day and I'm just going to pray for everyone that I love and care for and I hope that you're okay <laughs> just pray for me and I'm pray for you and just know that I'm not a bad person Thank you for listening.